Well, hello YouTube, it's here BMW. Um, big day here today with the um, 2006 330i, which is uh, soaking wet right now. We're having a lot of real bad storms here in eastern North Carolina. Anyway, uh, today's a big day. We're going to do a bunch of unpacking for all the parts and supplies that I've ordered. So uh, I've seen a lot of folks do this and it looks like fun, so I guess we'll get started. So uh, first off, uh, I had to get a um, uh, refill kit for my headlight restoration. I did one side and um, it's dark enough in the garage here you can't see, but it was bad enough that I used up everything that came in the kit, so that's the refill kit. Here is uh, the new pump for my windshield washer, which is located down in the fender well in front of the passenger's foot. Um, this is off of a real OEM. That's the part number. And um, the pump is different. And um, this, uh, in, I've already in fact replaced this one. This is the one that came out. And um, it's, uh, it, it, it leaked uh, here in this little uh, overflow piece at the bottom. There's a little rectangular place right there and, and it leaked out of there but in any event on this one with these ribs it snapped directly into the side of the receiver and the new one which was all black uh, it did not it, it fit and it's in there and it's working but it's not a direct replacement so somewhere along the line that part number doesn't match up with this car but it worked this is my um, replacement light for my angel eye on the driver's side so that'll be a project to gotta uh, take out the driver's side wheel and and the inner fender liner inner fender liner and get in there and do that this is my um, ECS tuning uh, a new vendor for me never worked with them before but uh, folks at uh, E39 source I hear them talk about it quite a lot, and um, so I've decided to give them a try, and I try and do uh, my comparison shopping on everything, and uh, they had the best price. So uh, this is, I already had a peak tool for my Z3. How folks do this with one hand. Uh, so I had the peak tool for my Z3 and uh, it didn't work with the new newer model 3 series. So this is the adapter and that's the, the part number from I'm not sure if that's from peak or if that's from ECS tuning but nevertheless this is the connector that allows my peak tool to plug in here and then this will plug in under the dash. And uh, the folks at Peak are uh, very helpful with their website because they will tell you that based on the pin location that you have in your car, you have to check it before you order this because this adapter will not work with every, uh, every E-Series, E30, E90, excuse me. So, uh, I checked. I had the right pins in the right location. So, uh, there you go. That'll, that'll help me to read my codes and set my oil change and everything else. And then this big box here, this bad boy, is from what is turning out to be absolutely one of my favorite vendors. It is uh, BMW of South Atlanta. Um, as I indicated, I do... Um, a spreadsheet for every car and I do a page for my maintenance projects and a page for uh, routine maintenance and, and I just price everything and I try and use uh, all the major sites I use Bavarian Auto and Auto House and and almost exclusively BMW of South Atlanta has got the best price and the best shipping so this big old box full of stuff here is going to be my 
project for probably the next couple of weekends, I'm guessing. So, um, so what do we got? Let's see. Uh, these are the inserts. There's the part numbers. These are the inserts that go in the doors. In one of my previous videos, I had talked about the um, the trim here on these doors. This uh, carbon fiber trim here um, is has started to come loose. Just in a few places, you can see a little bit of it right there. And um, those receivers here, they're little, I mean, just clear sort of plastic nylon receivers, go in each door. And they were kind of malmicked up and some of them were had been glued in so that's what those are and here are my uh, lifting supports there uh, the two on the front of the car were missing completely and the two on the back are pretty well damaged the um, they were just broken off here, and I suspect, although I don't know, but I suspect that they're just kind of a disposable item. But just as an example, my local BMW dealer here in Wilmington wanted $30 a piece for these, and BMW of South Atlanta, they were $13. So, uh, you know, pretty substantial savings, I think. Okay, here is... This is the part number for the power steering fluid reservoir bracket on my car uh, where the uh, power steering reservoir mounts. Uh, there are pressed in studs here and one of them had been had been broken off and it the nut was just sitting in there so it looked like it was complete. So because it's pressed in it couldn't be replaced so new bracket and let's see what else what else what else well that's not a very good packing job right there but uh, what this is there's the part number for it is the passenger side drink tray so you can see it's all nice and shiny and with the appropriate uh, garnish on the outside and again in the previous video I had shown how um, this is just completely broken um, it was gobbed up with drink and I think somebody tried to force it in and they broke it and when they somebody tried to either take it out to fix it or whatever all of this uh, trim where this screw goes in was all just completely broken and really there was nothing left that was even usable in there so that had to be replaced uh, ah, there's the some miscellaneous parts uh, that's a new gas cap with the uh, little plastic uh, Sure what to call that but in any event on this car um, that's that little plastic piece that's supposed to keep you from losing your you losing your gas cap you can see it's just been busted off there so I got that and then there were some miscellaneous fasteners that I needed um, and to be quite frank I don't off the top of my head remember what I got them for specifically but that's okay um, I, my list is all upstairs on my desk and uh, there's the big piece which I'm very excited about and that's the new center console uh, there we go so that's uh, that's a beauty right there that's a beauty I'm excited about that this one um, I, 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 I honestly, I, I wish I could tell you what it is. I don't know. 
Um, and again, with the black card, it's just so difficult to see. Um, in fact, it really is pointless. But it, it, the, the, the one that's in the car is just covered with some sticky black residue that uh, I, I simply cannot get off. It, it will not come off. So um, this is a brand shiny new piece that's going to... Uh, going to replace that one so very excited about that so I uh, gotta be careful I don't wanna I don't want to mess that up and my suspicion is that this last piece should be piece that mounts back here that the rear heater controls and the um, so, you know, I'm not as good at this as some other folks seem to be. There's the part number. Um, but it's where the uh, air conditioning controls and the ashtray go on this car. This car had a smoker package.